hello guys welcome to the channel and uh, today we have this problem here this is a problem from a math olympiad uh, I found in a book from Russia so um, let's solve this problem guys we have to find the value of X obviously we have X in the denominator here first of all we have to have um, X different from 0 okay so from here now I'm gonna make some uh, simplifications here okay uh, we have 7 plus x over x so let's write this as 7 to over x plus x over x so from here we're gonna have 7 over x plus 1 right and following doing the same thing we have um, 9 minus x over x so this is gonna be 9 over x minus x over x so this is gonna be 9 over x right minus 1 okay cool we can replace this here in the beginning uh, so we're gonna have then cube root of 7 over x plus 1 right plus cubic root of 9 over x minus 1 and then this is equal 4 so from here we're gonna make um, uh, a substitution okay guys so let's say this is a and this is B okay so from here then we're gonna have um, we're gonna have well okay we're gonna have then um, cubic root let me write this in a in a, in a different we have a lot of space here still so let me write this here so we're gonna have then that um, cubic root of 7 over x plus 1 okay this is equal a and then we have cubic root of 9 over x minus 1 and this is equal b okay guys okay take into the power three both sides of of this of this equation so we're gonna have 7 over x plus 1 equals a to the power of 3 and 9 over x minus 1 equals um, b to the 3 okay and then we're gonna have from there we're gonna have 7 over x okay this is the this here is where the, the trick lies guys so I'm gonna say that 7 over x is equal to a to the 3 mi minus 1 okay sending this one to the to the right side and 9 over x is equal to b to the 3 plus 1 because we have a negative one here so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide side by side so we're gonna have then 7 over x divided by 9 over x equals to a to the 3 minus 1 over b to the 3 minus 1 okay and then from here we know that we are dividing fractions right we, we keep um, we keep the first the first fraction right which is this and we multiply by the inverse of the second x over 9 okay and then we have a to the 3 minus 1 divided by by b to the 3 minus 1 and then from here we're gonna cancel this and this dividing 1 we have 7 over 9 equals a to the 3 minus 1 divided by b to the 3 minus 1 so guys from here we're gonna have um, multiplying side by side here um, this one cross multiplication actually we're gonna set we're gonna have 7 um, we're gonna have 7 b to the 3 minus 7 equals to um, 9 a to the 3 minus 9 and then from here what we're gonna do is um, let's send this all to the that side so I mean let's send this one to this side and 9 to this side right so we're gonna have um, um, 9 a to the 3 minus 7 b to the 3 and then this is equal 16 right and this is let's say this is our um, second equation okay let's say this is our second equation because our first equation is here we say that this one is a this one is a and this one is b so a plus b is equal to 4 right so we have then a plus b is equal to 4 
if a plus b is equal to 4, so it, let's say this is our second equation, actually just to make some it some clear, um, I'm going to say um, this is our first equation and this is our second equation. So a plus b is equal to 4. Okay guys? a plus b is equal to 4. Okay. So now uh, there are different methods we could apply here, but I'm just going to follow the normal method because I think it's uh, the most easy way. But if you have another solution, please tell us in the comment. Um, so what I'm going to say is that b is equal to 4 minus a, right? And then let, let's replace this in the first equation here. So, um, and then replacing, we're going to have, let me say, let me write this here. Um, let me okay, let's say, let's start from here. We're going to have 9a to the 3 minus 7b to the, to the 3 equals 16. And now we have 9a to the 3 minus 7, which multiplies 4 minus a uh, all to the power of 3 equals 16. And then developing this power here, we're going to have a to the 3 minus 7. This one here in brackets, we're going to have minus 8 to the 3, right, and plus 12a square, and um, minus 48a, um, plus 64, right, and then this all equals 16, okay. Um, making some simplifications here, guys, to save some time. We're going to have at the end, we just have to multiply 7 by these terms here, and then add with with this 9a to the 3 and then at the end we're gonna have um, 16a to the 3 um, minus 84a square and then plus 336a and then minus 464 um, equals 0 and I'm gonna divide this all by 4 and dividing all by 4 we're gonna have um, 4a to the 3 minus 21a square and then plus um, 84a and then minus 116 sorry let me write this 6 correctly 116 and then this is equal 0 so guys by some inspections here um, by the factors of 16 of 116 I just found out that, that a is equal to 2 is a solution for this equation okay guys so if a is a solution for this equation it means that we're gonna have a minus 2 or we can do something um, different um, we can divide this we can divide this whole fraction here by 8 minus 2 and then we're gonna have 8 minus 2 times um, for instance, uh, we're going to have here a square and then plus plus and then something here, okay? So, and then this would be zero, but this term here, this will give us um, imaginary solution. So we don't want imaginary solution because we're solving for the, for the real solutions only. If somebody just wants to, uh, to know what the, the imaginary solutions are, just tell us in the comment that I'm going to solve, uh, I'm going to make another video solving completely this, this problem. So what is under our interest is a minus 2 equals 0 then. So this part here we will always be greater than 0, okay? So a is equal to a minus 2 equals 0, and then we have a equals 2. So this is what we were looking for. So now we can replace this in the beginning here where we said that a is this thing here, or we can just replace it here okay I mean actually we can replace it here because it's more clear so we have then that um, 7 over x we have then that 7 over x is equal to a to the 3 minus 1 right so um, we have then that 7 over x is equal to 2 right to the power of 3 minus 1 so from here we're going to have 7 over x equals 8 minus 1 and 7 over x is going to be 7 so um, 
it means that 7 over 7 is equal to x so x is equal to 1 so guys our response is 1 so if x is equal to 1 x is equal to 1 we can replace this in our original equation and and try to uh, well let's let's check if our answer is correct so let's let me let me just erase this quickly and then we're gonna say then that time is running 10 minutes of video bro that's that's too much so we know that we kn now we know that x is equal 10 is equal, sorry x is equal 1 so we're gonna have now here what we're gonna have here S 7 plus 1 over 1 this is gonna be what 8 and then here we're gonna have 9 minus 1 over 1 this is gonna be 8 okay so we have cubic root cub cubic root of 8 plus cubic root of 8 this is equal 4 so this is cubic root of 2 to the 3 which is 8 and cubic root 2 to the 3 and this is 4 so this goes with this and then we have 2 plus 2 which is 4 and 4 is actually equals to 4 okay guys so thanks for watching the video guys please subscribe to the channel and uh, see you next video please drop a comment and uh, tell me what you will do to solve this problem guys see you next video bye bye